Bond number nine, a fragrance house I have heard about, seen, and even smelled a few times over the years. But alas, today I finally got one. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. And this video I'm really excited about because I love when I have a first time purchase from a fragrance house. And today my first time ever Bond number no. nine fragrance purchase is Bond number no. nine's Greenwich Village. And we are doing a dedicated fragrance review on Greenwich Village today. Now I've noticed that Bond number no. nine isn't really talked about a lot on social media as say compared to other niche high-end brands, which is interesting because it's been around. It's been around for a minute in my world anyway. I said, hmm, it's one of those brands, like I said, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it. Kind of looked at it, I just knew it was definitely for the grown folks based on their price point because it is niche and yeah, it definitely is that. But I will say when it's niche, you definitely get that niche quality out of Bond number nine. And with Greenwich Village, it is no exception to the rule. So yes, let's talk about it. We're gonna get into the dedicated review. As always, when it comes to dedicated reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. The first category is mood. And that is, how does this fragrance make me feel? Where am I wearing this fragrance? Second category is strength. And that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being just water in a pretty bottle, to 10 being nuclear. And I'm gonna smell this fragrance for days on end. Third category is longevity, and that is how many hours long lasted. Could I smell it as well as could others smell it on me and or my clothes? Fourth is the most important category for a lot of people, and that is simply, is this a compliment getting fragrance? And that is a yes or no. So yes, now you know how we rate fragrances here on Dedicated Reviews, and yeah, let's get into this video. Lipstick of the day, everyone. We went with MAC down to an art, which is this peachy nude color get into it else let me know what you think as always and it'll be in the description box along with everything i talk about today in this video fragrance of the day we went with mont blanc signature so i smell like a lovely delicious clementine cloud right now i do have a full dedicated review on this fragrance i'll link it up top for you to check out at a later date so now we've gotten the formalities out of the way let's get into bond number nine's greenwich village so quick notes as always bond number nine's greenwich village was released in the year of 2019 so this is a fairly recent fragrance not brand spanking new but it's not old because yeah this is like the one bond i've noticed that's even remotely talked about on social media this is the only one that and its sister as i like to call it tribeca which that's a video for another day so it came out in 2019 it comes in two sizes and that wasn't always it used to only come in the 100 ml size which is the standard big bottle you see with bonds and that retails for 440 dollars then as of late, they've come out with a 50 mil size in Greenwich Village, and that retails for $295. You can find Bond Number no. 9s at Saks, Bloomingdale's, and of course, the official Bond Number no. 9 website, as well as some like boutiques locally and whatnot. Like we have a local boutique in my city that carries bonds. But yes, as you can see, Bond Number no. 9 is good and grown based on the price point. <laughs> and it has a lovely write-up about it, which with Bond Number no. 9 New York, all of the scents are about neighborhoods, vibes, places, parks, you have it in New York City. So that's why all of their fragrances are named after something from New York. So let's see here. The write-up for Greenwich Village says, with Greenwich Village, Bond Number no. 9 brilliantly captures one of New York's most beloved neighborhoods in a scent. It is a celebration of individuality and creativity and the rich heritage of the city's artists and intelligence and the community they created. The result is a oriental vanilla with a touch of light floral sea. Okay. That's cute. All right then. So now, okay, let's get into the notes for Bond number nine. The official notes are cassis, liche, mandarin, peony, water lily, patchouli, jasmine petals, ambrox, peach musk, vanilla, oak moss, and praline. So mm, I must say anytime something has cassis in it or cassis, depending on how you pronounce it, and there's a praline note, and I love Ambroxan, so this is very intriguing to me, and I had to get my hands on it. I did start out with a sample of the Greenwich Village, which I talked about in a previous um, sampling video. I was gifted a sample of Greenwich Village in a previous um, MFK purchase, actually. And I played with this scent 
play with the sample. And now, mind you, I've smelled Greenwich Village like multiple times when I've gone to Saks, when I've gone, yeah, Saks mainly. Yeah, I've gone to Saks multiple times and I smelled it because the ladies, the Bond ladies were always so sweet. And it's like, oh, you gotta smell this and you gotta smell it. And in the moment, maybe I smelled so many things, but I didn't really give it the time at all. I was just like, oh, okay, it's cute. And I kept walking, you know, that type of thing. But with this sample, I was able to really let it sit on my skin versus just smelling something off of a little card or a test strip when you're in the mall. And yeah, this scent came alive on my skin. So the rest is history. So on a recent trip for more that weekend, we went to Atlanta and I did pick up my first Bond number no. nine fragrance at the Saks counter there. And check it out. This is what it looks like. I picked up the 50 mil size, so I'm gonna take the sleeve off of it. But yes, I kept my box just so I could share it with my elves. I love how it has the croc embossing on here. Very, very nice. And it's my favorite color ever, which I love turquoise. Favorite color. Anything turquoise aqua is gonna get my attention. So yes, with the gold, we got the Greenwich Village on here, bond number nine, that is your box. Unbox it. And this is what your fragrance looks like on the inside. Very, very nice. I just love how the box matches the actual fragrance. And there is a card in there that you can mail in. I did mail my card in. Haven't heard anything per se, but hey, I put it in the mailbox. They said to mail it in. We'll see what happens. I'll report back. Y'all know I do. So yes, this is the bottle. The typical standard Bond number nine star shape which actually is very nice because it makes it easy to hold so you don't like drop it and slip and it fall everywhere and it breaks so like that is the croc embossing as well you just pull the cap off and that is your greenwich village as always i have my test strips here let that do what it do so yes i've owned this fragrance now going on three months yes and i was sampling even before that so i've really spent some time with this fragrance before i did this review because y'all know that's what i like to do first so i can give it to you correctly so now let's get into this rating system Ooh, bond number nine is all in the air y'all Woo! Mm. first category mood y'all let me tell you something this scent is everything it's fresh like it's so it's fresh fresh but it still has that ambroxan and that praline in it and it's floral it's just a lot going on in here mm. like it's captivating like it literally puts a spell on you oh my goodness so this scent this is definitely to me a springy scent for sure when i first got it it was 70 degrees every day which was beautiful for this fragrance this is definitely a spring it can go into early summer scent but dare i say you all because of the freshness of this scent you can honestly make greenwich village a signature scent i really think you could if this is just you want to smell amazing you know you're going to smell amazing you don't have to worry about it particularly for daytime i think this is signature scent worthy and you all know i don't do signature scents but this is amazing for spring and early summer mm, yes absolutely now let's talk about strength on a scale of one to ten now this scent is not a beast but it's still strong this scent i give an eight this is an eight on the scale so on the higher end absolutely you definitely smell it but is it going to choke you out no it doesn't unless you over spray it but it is a nice level of strength and i really like that mm -hmm. now let's talk about longevity and now this is what i heard most when it comes to bond longevity is when bonds really shine and i must say even the sample you all of greenwich village let me tell you the sample of this i could wear this to bed and still smell it on me well into the morning like, until i showered so and then too now that i have the full size presentation i easily get eight hours out of this scent so it lasts a full day and then we're talking skin clothes absolutely but i smell this on my skin for eight hours yes so you definitely get your money's worth eight hours long now for the last category is this a compliment getting fragrance absolutely freaking lutely this is a certified compliment getter i have not worn this scent and not received a compliment every time i wear it it's like you smell so good you just smell so fresh 
you just smell like amazing. Those tend to be the comments I get. I even let my mother smell it in a spray. She's like, this is just really fresh and nice. She's like, it's, I can't put my finger on it. She's like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what no, I don't just because she's not technical. She don't get it. She said, like, it just smells great. <laughs> I'm like, yes. And to me, sometimes you need fragrances in your collection that just smell great. It's not about it being super complex, even though this scent obviously has a lot of notes in it, but this is an easy reach fragrance. And I understand why this is very loved. And it's considered one of the best sellers if you go on the Bond website. They have it on there. Like, I see why, because this is easy. This is just easy. I don't have to think about it. I know it's gonna work, especially in warmer weather. It's gonna work. I can wear this to work, which I have. I can wear this out. I've worn this to music in the park. Just all of it. It, it just works. It's just easy. This is one of those, if they ever made like travel size vials, which Bond doesn't, I would so buy it because it's that good. Like it's, it's amazing. <laughs> amazing they do have a body silk in the greenwich village that is sold out right now you all this is so good y'all know i do not do body care i've actually put myself on the email list to let me know when the body silk will come back in stock because i like how this scent smells that much because it's so easy it is yes it's signature scent worthy i think it's amazing so absolutely think this scent is worth the hype i think it is amazing i'm so glad they came out with the 50 ml sizes because that is what i picked up 50 ml is a standard size perfume bottle i don't need 100 ml of anything at this point you all know my collection is extensive but this is good but this would actually be worth buying a big bottle of just real talk it's that good because I know I'm going to end up using this bottle up and I'm going to need another one. This is it's fabulous. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I have to make myself stop wearing Greenwich Village. Amazing. So plus two, I had an amazing experience with the sales associates when I did purchase my bottle. The ladies were very helpful. They walked me through a lot of different um, bonds, scents and whatnot. But it was just something about Greenwich Village. And she said, oh yeah, you're getting that one today. I was like, I am. I am. Go ahead and just, just pull this. Let's do it. <laughs> They're amazing. I had a wonderful experience. So, and to help my fragrance also reminds me of that wonderful experience. And it has a scent memory. It smells like Memorial Day weekend, 2022. So that is my dedicated review on Bond Number no. 9's Greenwich Village. Do you like this scent? Have you smelled it? Is it worth the hype to you? Are you interested in it? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you all. At last, until the next time, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.